Right, guys, uh, we're uh, sticking on the subject of food, and we're going to add to Buffalo's wonderful menu of all kinds of foods this morning. We're with Chef Mark from the uh, Wellington Pub, and um, it's been a while. Yes, it has. Good to have about you back. A month. Yeah, about a month. All right, uh, we are making a, um, a lamb, lamb chop dish, lamb right? Lamb chops, Avgo Lomano. Okay, and we're kind of deconstructing a dish that's normally that's, a soup, right? Or uh, a stew it's of a, some traditionally sort? a stew made okay. with like a lamb shank uh, mm -hmm. or a shoulder chop, something mm -hmm. that takes a little longer to cook. But right. today we're using these beautiful. Yeah, those are loin lamb nice. chops from Johnny's Meat Market, mm -hmm. and they are just fabulous. We're going to start out just by browning them in a pan with some olive oil and a little salt and pepper. So and just season them a little bit with the salt and pepper. Yep, and which I've already them. done. Okay. And uh, we're just going to brown them off a little bit, and then I'm going to show you uh, how to complete the sauce a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But this does take a little while, so we're going to start out by doing this. Sure. Now, when and, you're uh, browning, you just keep them uh, what a, a minute or two on each side, or uh, not even? Right? Yes, depending on how well done you like your meat, which okay. I don't. So right. I like it a little on the rare side. So we're yeah. going to brown it and. And then uh, go from there with the oh, sauce. Okay, while we're talking now, let's go over the ingredients. They're up on the screen for uh, anybody at home. Uh, yes, uh, this stuff the, down. The, vegetables, we have? the vegetables can vary. Uh, if you like mushrooms and celery or anything that's not on that list, it's great to put in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if you like it and you're eating it, you can. Uh... <laughs> right, you can always change it up, though, too. I mean, yes, you if can. you don't like this kind of stuff, yep. you can avoid some of the ingredients. Yes. Okay. Um, so we've got our, uh, our chops browning. That's chops the first browning, part of this. That's the first step of this. Okay. And then we're going to uh, cook the vegetables in this pan. After that, we're going to remove the lamb and start the sauce. And then traditionally, you'd put the meat back in the pan, simmer for a while. But this is a very tender, tender cut of lamb, and you don't want to overcook this one. Don't want to overcook no. it. And I don't want to forget to say happy birthday, Mark. Well, thank you very much. 25, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get that number out of him uh, later on in the show. But uh, happy birthday to Mark. We love Starts having him 40, here. 40, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. It's just a number. That's what it I always say. It's just a number. All right. And welcome back. We're in the kitchen right now with Chef Mark from the Wellington Pub, and he's making one of his favorite dishes. So this is going to turn out really extra special, and it's also your birthday today. So why not yes, cook your favorite dish? That's Treat yourself, what I right? <laughs> right? All right. So uh, we've got okay. our lamb. We had them in the pan so there. So we browned it. Them up. Yep. And now we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. Okay. So you keep all the juices going in there. From oh the yeah, lamb, that, right? that's don't all touch the flavor. That, right? You don't want to get rid of this right keep there. Keep that in there. Okay. Yep. And uh, a little white wine doesn't matter what kind of white wine. White wine. Or no, not, not really. really. As long as you, uh, as long as you drink it, it's okay to cook. We're the pan with, right? a little bit, and then okay. we're going to add our vegetables and get this going. Okay. And we've got what do we have in here? We got onions. Uh, we got celery, celery and onions and okay. carrots and potatoes. And if I'll you would like, yep. yep. And if you would like to add mushrooms or any other vegetable that you like, it's perfectly acceptable. Anything that you would like to do in a stew, you can change it up if yep. you want. Okay. And we're going to soften these up. Mm -hmm. A little bit, and then and all those uh, juices from the meat really uh, absorb into the. All the juices we're going to put back right. in there too. That's great. Oh, and beautiful. then in the five-minute segment, I'll show you how to make the sauce, which mm -hmm. takes two different steps. So we're going to need the whole five minutes for this. Okay. And these beautiful lamb chops from back Johnny's Meat there. Market are. They are absolutely wonderful. Okay. Uh, that market's been around on Hurdle for over 60 years, and. It's the place in Buffalo to get your meat. So place to go you, to get the meat. It's my yeah. favorite place to get him. <laughs> All right. Well, and he's always got anything you want, and if he can't, he'll get it for you. He's and he hooked you up guy. on your birthday he's too. He's a great guy. Awesome. Yes, he yeah, did. Great guy. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna get uh, get going on this in our big five-minute segment coming up in just a bit. But coming up in the hot sauce, we're gonna learn how a local hospital is getting some major funding for life-saving research. Plus. Very simple recipe. We'll show you how to make the perfect summer cocktail out of just three ingredients. Stay with us. Chef Mark, birthday. Happy birthday. Well, thank you very welcome, much. I welcome. It. So exciting Thanks. for you to be here. I'm doing it during your birthday. Okay, we are making lamb, kind of deconstructed lamb, and it smells amazing in here. Oh, thank you. Right now, we've already softened up the vegetables. Okay. And we're going to add some garlic. Okay. Some oregano. Yummy. A little this bit is of only going to make it smell better here. That's right. A little bit of savory and some dill. And we're going to whip that in there. And real you were quick. saying now originally this dish this, can take a really long time, it's a right? It's stew. Traditionally, if you use like a lamb shank or a shoulder piece, you would get to this part right here, return your lamb to the pan, and slowly cook it, which okay. would probably take upwards of an hour and a half, depending on how big the piece of meat is. And it would end up being like a stew, which you'd thicken at the end with the Avgo Lomano sauce, which gives it a wonderful flavor. So right now, we're just going to 
bring this back up to a simmer. Okay. While we make the sauce. Okay. Now. And what is the name of this? Avgo Lomano. Avgo which Lomano. means egg lemon. Okay. And you want to whip up the eggs, which I've done before. It takes about three minutes to whip it by hand, but you want it to get foamy. Can you use a beater or? You can. Okay. That would be a lot faster. Okay. But that's, that's noisy what I would on do. TV, so we didn't want to. Now you slowly pour in the lemon juice for me. Okay. And why do you want to pour in the lemon juice slowly, just so uh, it doesn't just to overwhelm it? Incorporate it better. It helps incorporate it. Okay. And now this is some warm stock, which we took out of the pan, which we're going to slowly okay. add to that also. Mm, looks yummy. All right, that's about enough of that. That's good. Okay. And then we're going to add a little pinch of cayenne pepper. A little spice. Just for some spice. And now, when the stew is almost done. How do you tell just kind of the well, ratio of Well, by the of tenderness liquid? of the meat. And okay. if you use a lamb shank, like right now, these meat, this meat is done. Okay. So we would put it back in the pan and let it warm up or get to the temperature that you would like. If you like yours a little more well done, if you like it rare, you can just make the sauce and finish off the dish right like that. Okay. Now it's important to get this back up to a little bit of a simmer there. Okay. But you do not want to boil this. Once you add this lemon sauce here, you're done. You want to heat it, but not boil it, because the boiling will cause it to not look very good. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't have egg and lemon boiled. Yeah, might right, not be a right. good, uh, You'll end good up thing. With scrambled eggs, probably. Um, so and also going on at the Wellington Pub, prime rib prime Thursdays. Prime rib night on Thursdays. Oh yes, wonderful. Talk to Slow me about cooked that. Prime rib, mm. nice big piece, and it's only fourteen ninety nine. Can't you cannot beat that. Go wrong. No. You cannot go wrong. And fish fry every Wednesday fish and Friday. Fish fries are Wednesday and Friday. Yes. Okay. And uh, even though it's not Lent, they're still very popular. And can you do takeout? I'm sure with those. Or? Oh yes, absolutely takeout. For a Friday night dinner. Yep. And we do not want to boil this sauce, so I'm going to get on this right now. We're just going to bring it up to the temperature. We're going to put a couple of these back in, the, in case there's any people at the station who like their meat a little more well done. And this is going to be your finished product right that here. That is amazing. I have to say, to I think I'm a medium rare or rare person. <laughs> <laughs> but when you added all the herbs in there, just the flavor of this just intensified. Can you get this dish at the Wellington Pub? Uh, no, I made this because it's my birthday, and this is one of my favorite things to eat. There you go. I Way to treat yourself on your birthday. I love that. I absolutely love this meal. Good for you, Chef. Mark. It is one of my I'm gonna favorites. Get, I'm going to get a South End two forks and two knives since it's your birthday. You have to try it too. Or you know what? I'll cut it for you since there's only one knife here. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is my birthday present. Can there. I do a little cut? Absolutely. Okay. And this can be served with rice or pita. Now, is lamb hard to cook? I feel like lamb, um, I'm, I'm one that just orders it because I'm scared to cook it. It is not hard to cook, especially these chops right here. You can do anything with them. You can rub them with a little bit of rosemary and garlic and just throw them on your grill. You can uh, get specialty olive oils down at the... Diablo, where they sh that they showed before, and just do it in a pan with any herbs that you like. Uh, it is a very versatile dish. And John should not get boil, me cutting. So I'm, I'm the it. worst cutter in the world. Right. <laughs> no, I'm can, just uh... kidding, John. You can, but it's really embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's your birthday bite. Here's my bite. All right. Well, cheers. Thank you. Thank cheers. you. Let's try this. And Joe's gonna have to come back here. Cheers. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mmm. Mm. That's why it's my favorite dish. And it's good. <laughs> it's yummy. I love lamb. Mm. Oh, very good. Joe, we'll save He's yourself. on his way. He's on his way. <laughs> okay, coming up in two minutes, I'll be back doing another look at weather. Then we'll get back into the kitchen with Chef Mark one more time. And welcome back. We are uh, finishing up here in the kitchen with uh, Chef Mark from the Wellington Pub. Stop doing that. Oh. Making me really hungry right now. <laughs> this is a great uh, lamb dish. Really quick, before we get to the second helping, let's go through how we uh, what the ingredients were again because it's okay. just awesome. Uh, the vegetables were potatoes, celery, carrots, onion. Chop it up. Chop it up real fine. Mm -hmm. And the deglaze the pan mm -hmm. with the white wine. Right. Add the vegetables. Uh, your spices are oregano, dill. Savory and garlic. Okay. And then the Avgo Lomano sauce is uh, foam. You whip the egg until, you whip it's that foamy. Egg until it's foamy, right? Slowly add the lemon juice. Wow. 
dash of cayenne and some of the stock from the pan, and then you return that to finish the stew. Okay, and keep those juices going in the keep pan. The That's the key because this, right. is, this is just an awesome dish. Now, from something that complicated, we're gonna uh, uh, Mark's gonna show you what you can do with the leftovers, right? Well, usually in my house there is no leftovers <laughs> of lamb of Romano, I'll tell you. But this one right here, I just took the rice, mm -hmm. the sauce. And the lamb, chopped it up and wrapped it up in a uh, pita. It's kind of like a, or a, I'm sorry, a tortilla shell. It's like a Mediterranean burrito. It's like burrito. a Mediterranean burrito, exactly. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I guess you could add a little feta cheese in there if you wanted to. Why or not, uh, right? Spice it up. And you can also cheese it up. take this and turn it into a soup also. You know, with, add with a little bit more of the stock and, right. and serve it with some toasted pita chips. Mm. Which would be wonderful. Good stuff. But I'm telling you, I've never had leftovers of this in my house. I eat I, every bit of it. I guarantee you there won't be any, there won't be any left. Uh, I'm once thinking the show's there won't. We've here. already eaten quite a bit. We actually. have. We have. <laughs> <laughs> we've been, uh, we got to pace ourselves here. Um, Mark, happy birthday. Well, thank you very um, much. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Uh, really quick, you got some uh, events going on at the restaurant. Anything people need, need to know about? Uh, well, as we mentioned earlier, we have a prime rib night on Sundays. We have two strip steak dinners for two for $20.12. And all our regular delicious fare, our fresh, uh, fresh ground meat every day from Johnny's Meat Market for our burgers. We got many different burgers on the menu, and uh, it's just a great place to come and have a couple drinks and relax and enjoy some great food. It really is. Thanks, Mark. All right, now we're going to send things back over to uh, Matthew on the.